standing on the um, Jardin Beach, we're straight in front of our camp. The project we're doing here is turtle project. That's uh, tagging turtles and monitoring um, the turtle nest and also um, doing an um, indicator nest and monitoring the amount of predation done to the nest as well. We just we could just have a just have a look at them um nest. Yep. This marker uh, represents a indicator nest and it's right next to a nest that we monitor. Each nest we count every eggs so we know how much eggs in there and the type of turtle and when it's been laid. So we'll be monitoring all all of these and look for any predation or any human activities. Well, the main turtles that come up from south side of Jardin straight through or until another 10 clicks, it's only um, flatbacks. You get a couple of olive ridley and olive ridley on the hawk's bill, but mainly flatbacks, yeah. Rather than um, get all the information on every nest, we just pick a sample number. We'll keep an eye on them right through to hatching. So at the moment, we've got 10 indicator nests of our own for the Ranger program. And we've got another 15 that are set up with a researcher. Those 15 have got temperature probes in them. So these pink posts are the researcher ones. The white posts will be ours. Nest number is T9. That's it. It's the same as unchanged. Everything's staying the same. It's all intact. Some of these nests, well, some of these posts, I should say, are just, um, they're just a control. And we've got temperature probes down at the same depth as a, as a nest just to see the difference in um, temperature because as the egg develops there's um, heat build up from what do you call metabolic energy. Uh, here on the Jardine Beach in our monitoring area we've got a um, 10 kilometre stretch of beach. This is where we're doing the tagging exercise as well. Within that 10k stretch we've set up 10 sectors each one is one kilometre long and as you can see we've got our hands on some um, roadside corner posts. We write on a sector number, we've got the reflective um, thing for your lights and that at night and I've also just bought a cheap um, solar light from Bunnings. Cut a slot in the top of the roadside post, put in the solar light. So from long range without our lights on it we can see where the sectors are. As we get closer, we can tell by the colour of the post what side of the, the sector we're in, and then the number as well when you get up real close. So on this post here, we've got seven on the, on the top side, eight on the bottom side. They're all set up the same way, so the red light is all on this side of every post as it goes down. Likewise, with the, obviously, with the other light. I'm just marking an old nest that has been damaged by pigs and probably the um, goanna just come after it probably about two uh, day after and didn't leave any eggs. As you can see this is a goanna track there and uh, big the pair of pigs. Huh. This one. Um that's an old old um, old nest and already had um, I think hatchlings are ready to hatch but the pigs got it the, the same pig got the the first one as you can see the same pig was here last night again and the guana come behind him we gotta get this pig
this is um, this is the tag we're gonna put onto the left wing of the turtle, and it'll have the tags have numbers, and it's got a and we'll collect all the data, keep all the data in that eye tracker. Okay. I'm gonna feel for the two thing eh? So what I'm doing here is uh, recording down the data and when we finish I take it back to the camp and just download it onto the computer then and we can look up it on the computer and see how much turtle we tagged and when and where and all this and all that stuff. This here is one of our um, indicator nests. We've had a um, researcher came up and um, issued us with some these temp data loggers. We're putting them in a plastic bag to um, waterproof them. Uh, we're going to put one in once uh, she's finished digging the nest and about to lay. We're going to drop another one in in the middle of the nest after about 20, 25 eggs and then we're going to put one at the at the top of the eggs. Um, yeah and these are going to be kept in for the whole time, a normal um, term for the nest to hatch is about 60 days and this information they're worried about um, the climate change and that even sand temperature is rising as well. It was to our benefit as well we're going to get a bit bit more information on um, um, the sand temperatures here and also we'll see the difference between here and Crab Island where the larger rookery is. <laughs> <laughs>